I first discovered timber in my granddad's shed. He was an aeronautical engineer and um, his hobby was making furniture for the house and fixing things up. He used to make beautiful stuff. And yeah, I'd spend every school holidays and weekends and things over at his place watching him work. And he pretty much never let me touch anything or do anything until I was about 12, I think. And he gave me a hand plane and then he started teaching me stuff. Uh, my environmental interest is a family thing as well. Um, my dad was working on wind power and renewable energy back in, when I was a kid in the 1970s and 80s. Also just came from a family background where you didn't waste things. I guess that really fits in as well because otherwise if we don't do something with this timber, and especially back when I first started in the 90s, it was getting wasted, it was getting sent to the tip. And you know, it's a beautiful resource so it shouldn't be wasted. I think it's going back to values that Australia had you know, back in the 1950s and 60s, that things weren't wasted back then because things were more valued. Um, and now that we've gone into a sort of consumer culture and there's a lot of rubbish made in China and overseas and it's very cheap and people can just buy something and then it breaks and they have to throw it away. So I think it's trying to return back to those values where you actually respect the materials. That environmental thinking's right through the whole business. So we look at um, not just the timber that we're using, the recycled timber, but also the other products like the resins that we use to fill it is um, based on a bio, based on biomaterials like natural materials. I think it's about 30-40%. Um, the glues we choose are lower toxic and the finish we use is a plant oil and wax based product. Timber is really interesting because it's like a natural product and the way everyone sees it is so uh, unattached from like its natural form as a tree. It's like quite an interesting role that we play where we take it as a recycled product, make it available to people and then bring out like this beauty and, and uh, all the features in timber that uh, no one really admired when it was a stud wall or part of a roof. Some of my favourite projects are when clients come in having built a brand new house uh, and they come to us as like a blank or empty canvas and they're looking for ideas and features and things that uh, we can bring into their house. Uh, so with them we come up with designs and then we get to see those designs come to life through the workshop uh, and then eventually delivered and installed. Uh, and I find that, that kind of aspect and those projects really satisfying uh, when you get to see it come from an idea and then get to see it you know, in situ and installed in the end. Thor goes out and finds all of these materials uh, that would otherwise be waste uh, and we buy them and process them and make them available for people and builders and whoever to come along and buy and use in their house or projects. If we weren't playing that role then a lot of this material would just be thrown into landfill or burnt or cut up or firewood. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I think what we do is really important. Thor's Hammer is a yeah, brilliant place. We're doing something pretty uh, unique, pretty amazing. Um, you know, taking timber from demolition sites, old buildings around Australia and uh, turning it into to new and beautiful things, giving it a new life. There's something spiritual and, and, and delightful about it, you know, working with this, uh, this material that, that has a life, uh, has a history, and then uh, it becomes something new and beautiful. Uh, what I love about timber is I can find it can be like people in a lot of ways. Um, you can find you can find people that have had these hard lives. They you know, they're, they're scarred up. They're they're rough looking people. And once you really sit down and have a talk to them, you find out they're awesome people on the inside. And found the same thing with timber. You can find these trees that are haggard, twisted, you know, rank looking things and. Once you really mill it down and get to the stuff inside, it's it's beautiful. It's amazing grain. It's you know it's twisted. It's it's not directional. It's it's beautiful. In here, I'm I'm really doing the the solid timber work and furniture work, and it's it's been great. Love it. Uh, the, the culture at Thor's is really cool. Um, starting off the mornings with stretches and handball and 
that's really social aspect, you know, it's, it's just really cool. We all get together and have a great laugh and there's dogs here too, which is it's a good bonus also. We've had a long relationship with Sterling and we always found accurate to have a really great business philosophy. What Craig and the rest of the team there care about is like that the timber industry in Australia goes to a higher quality level. Like, so they want to see our customers getting the best product. They don't just want to sell me something. Craig is always asking the questions to make sure that whatever he sells me is going to make my product higher quality and the customer more happier. They seem to do a lot of research bring in um, higher quality products, ones that, you know, better grades of um, tungsten that last longer with Australian timbers, all kinds of things. And so, yeah, I just found it logical to talk to Craig about machinery. Looking forward to doing more with them. Recycled timber industry's had some really big changes since I started. Um, yeah, we used to get a lot of people complaining about nail holes and it was just really way out. And then, yeah, about 10 years ago it hit the mainstream and everyone wants it because uh, they know that it's really good quality timber, that it's stable and there's a lot of different um, looks that you can get from it. You can dress the recycled timber all the way back so you get the colour and the grain or you can just skim it lightly and leave a lot of the old um, sawn finish, we call it a sawtooth look, uh, more rustic. So yeah, it's very exciting to have all those options for people. The industry as a whole too has been changing. Um, you know, we're doing bars and restaurant fit outs all over Canberra. Everyone wants that timber um, in their fit out and it's flowing across to residential as well. Because timber is a natural material and there's so much kind of bland, plasticky, you know, boring materials out there that don't have any character and they're, they're artificial. As people, were, you know, we're animals and we love having plants and we love having timber in our environment because it's, it's got that variation, it's got that natural beauty. So I think um, the popularity of timber is, is going to be long term now, especially when, you know, there's the rest of our environment is either more artificial or more digital. So anything that's natural, it's going to be more and more important.